Hey everyone, it's actually Jeb Bush, and today's video is an early staple of this channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the current UFC strike challenge that was just posted, and then switch over to looking at some of the future upcoming UFC cards. We're going to highlight some of the fighters that have moments on UFC strike, and try to kind of predict some of the possible challenge structures that can be built around them. That way you can be locked and loaded for the upcoming UFC cards and hopefully be completely prepared for when those challenges are announced. However, as always, I want to remind you that this is not financial advice, but simply a conspiracy theory. So now with that intro out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the current UFC Kansas City Hybrid Challenge. Now, there are two criteria for this challenge. We have a burn challenge where there are four candidates that are series zero moments. You can burn three of one moment or one of three or any combination. Uh, there's no restrictions like we might have in some previous challenges, which is nice. Uh, personally, I went ahead and burned one of each of these guys here, and I did not burn uh, Tapura. Um, and then you have to have these three challenger moments. Now, I do find it interesting that while all three of these challenger moments are on this week's card, only Barboza here is on this week's card as well. These three fighters are uh, not. And I think that's one thing that's kind of interesting. However, uh, it kind of makes sense that UFC Strike does not want to exclusively have people burning Barboza's moment if they're not making a challenger for it. Uh, that way, that just gives him a little flexibility in the future in case they want to do a burn for his challenger later. Because, you know, if they had a bunch of people burning these moments while they're not the bottleneck right now, it could create a lot more volatility if they did specifically a challenger moment for him. Uh, so I think that's a, a wise decision and a very big picture way to look at things. So I think that's really good to see. Now there is a cheat code to complete this uh, challenge. And there are two cheat codes in this case. There is uh, an Arnold Allen fandom moment. I believe he is the current bottleneck of the fandom set, just barely. Uh, he has a mint count of 378. So if you're holding him, he you don't need to do the other two criteria. And then as usually there are... Uh, there's a champion club pass. In this case, if you have Amanda Nunez or Volkanovski, uh, you get this moment as well. Another thing to note is you can have multiple completions, which I think is a really cool thing that uh, UFC Strike does. However, I also want to point out, I think it's interesting that uh, if we go ahead and take a look at this card, we'll see that um, Pedro Munoz, he is on this card and he has a 10K contender moment and he is not involved in this challenge. And then we can also see that uh, Brandon Royval has a fandom moment minted to 1,042, and he is also not in this challenge. And the reason I wanted to point this out is because that we're about to take a look at some of the upcoming cards, and I think it's important to make a note that, you know, just because a fighter is on the card and has a UFC strike moment, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll be in a challenge. Okay, so now that we've looked at the current card, Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the future cards and see if we can find anything that we think is interesting in the context of UFC Strike. So the next card we have is Palovich versus Blades. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, first of all, we have Blades. He has a fandom moment sitting at 881. Then we have Bruno Silva who's fighting, and he has a 12K Series 1 moment. And then Bobby Green is fighting, who has a challenger moment. So unlike the last card, which had seven fighters who have moments, this card only has three. And as a result, UFC Strike just wouldn't have the flexibility they probably want uh, in order to create a challenge around this card if they just use those three fighters, right? Like it would be hold the fandom, the challenger, and then burn uh, a couple of the Bruno Silvas. I, I just don't think that would probably result in a, a great challenge uh, and would cause some volatility that would ultimately cause more harm than good. So I think the first thing we want to take a look at is the fact that the main event is a heavyweight fight. So I think it's always important to make sure you have, you know, a couple contenders and maybe a couple challengers that are in that weight class um, because that's a very easy way uh, when you're building a challenge to go ahead and 
pick some moments to say, hey, collect three of these five heavyweights or burn three of these possible six heavyweight contender moments. So that's something I always go ahead and look at is what the main event weight class will be. I think another thing to keep in mind here is that because there are only a few options on the actual card, as a result, this is a good opportunity for a burn challenge or a hybrid challenge. That way UFC Strike can continue to burn contender oversupply while creating a challenge that is a little bit difficult and will create a much more desirable moment uh, for the people burning, uh, which is always a great way to structure a challenge because if people feel like they're able to upgrade their moments, like burn a bunch of contenders into a challenger or a fandom, uh, I think that's always a great way to reward people who collected and held those moments. So besides the fighters on the card and the weight class of the main event, the other thing that you should always keep in mind is the fact that Series 0 is still way oversupplied, and I think we will just continue to have like very targeted or semi-targeted Series 0 burns. Uh, so... I think I've said this before, but you should never burn a Series 0 contender moment unless you're required to. You should be burning Series 1 otherwise, uh, because Series 0, those moments, they're going to be burned specifically at certain times. Even like this current challenge, where you have to burn Series 0, uh, and that's the only time you should be doing it. Because like we saw with this Ian Gary challenge, you know there are people burning Ian Gary moments for previous challenges where you didn't have to and now you had an opportunity to get his challenger moment which i personally think is a pretty coveted moment to have now the reason i kind of bring this up is because the next card we have is even a more extreme where we only have one fighter that has a moment on ufc strike and that's armin right here if there is a challenge for this card it is pretty much a free-for-all for UFC Strike to kind of do whatever they want. Obviously, they could require an Armin contender uh, to be burned or held because uh, he does have the, the moment he does have is a 12K Series 1 contender moment. I think if there's a card in the near future where UFC Strike does a specific Series 0 burn for like a challenger moment, so burn this many of this Series 0 fighter, in order to get their challenger moment, this would be the this would be the card that they do it for because there is truly no reason to do a challenge really tied to this card specifically. Uh, so with that being said, I think uh, you know maybe they do something for for Armin's moment specifically, but you know if you have your series zero or you want to stack a couple more, I would just do it before uh, this card on. April 29th, because I think we'll see a Series 0 burn challenge there. All right, so then after those two cards, which are a little on the sparse side uh, for fighters that have moments, we get back to a card that has a ton of fighters that has moments, and that's UFC 288 with Aljermaine Sterling versus Henry uh, Cejudo. I think this fight, first of all, is going to be absolutely incredible. Oliver is fighting again who has a 10K moment or a 12K moment. We also have Cejudo, who has a challenger moment that's basically, I think it's minted to 1462, if I remember off the top of my head, but it's it's pretty close to 1500. It's pretty close to kind of the, the standard challenger moment. So we got Cejudo, we got Oliveira, we got Darush, who Oliveira is fighting. Darush has a 5K contender moment, so... If there is a challenge specifically for contenders, that's a guy that might be the actual bottleneck on the contender side of things. Um, I know in the past it's been a while, but we've had, you know, challenges that have different levels. And I feel like this card is a decent opportunity for there to be a contender specific level. And if that's the case, Darush might be might be the bottleneck in, the, in that case. Uh, we have Jan. She has a 12K. We have Bryce Mitchell, who has a 12K. We have Kennedy and Jekku, who actually has a Series 0 moment, which makes things a little interesting. And then finally, we have Marina Rodriguez, who also has a Series 1 12K moment. So basically, all the fighters on this card, besides Cejudo, have a contender moment. 
And all those contender moments are very high circulation besides uh, Darush, who is the 5K. And because this is UFC 288, you know, these challenges are a little more a little more high stakes. You know, the fight nights, we usually get a collection challenge or a hybrid challenge that's a little easier to complete, and you get a fandom moment that people vote on. Uh, but in this case, you know, these moments are a little more uh, set in stone where you're probably getting a slightly more coveted moment. And then on top of that, uh, there tends to be higher requirements. So with that being said, I do think this would be a perfect card to have a challenge that has levels to it. So, you know, there would be, like I said, a contender only level where maybe you have to collect out of the six people that have contenders, you have to collect all six or maybe you have maybe it's a little bit of a hybrid where you have to collect five and then burn uh, a kennedy and jeku or another way this could be structured is where they have you just burn all of these guys besides uh dariush who has only 5k moments but i think regardless if i was preparing for this card um you know if Cejudo's challenger is a little low or you think it's a little cheap wouldn't hurt to, to scoop up even a duplicate of that. But I think just making sure you have a Dariush and even making sure you know you have two, two, three, four, five uh, could really pay dividends. However they structure it, I feel like getting a Dariush now before he's pumped is probably a, a solid plan here. And then finally, we have one more card that is currently has all the fighters listed here. And out of these fighters, I think this card is a little similar uh, to the current card that was just released for this this one that's coming out with uh, Holloway and Arnold Allen in the sense of UFC strike moments that are available for these fighters. Um, so first of all, we have Johnny Walker, who has a challenger moment. We have Ian Gary, who until recently only had a contender moment, but now he has a challenger moment that is minted to 600, which is a nice... A big enough number where I think uh, it can be used as a collection uh, challenge a lot easier. Like, for example, with the Arnold Allen, which is sitting at below 400 mint count, you saw that that's more of a cheat code because they didn't want to make that the bottleneck. I think Ian Gary is a high enough mint count that he can be included in collection challenges, but he could also kind of be low-key the bottleneck. Uh, because he does have a much lower mint count than a Johnny Walker. So we'll talk about that more later, but I think that's something that's super interesting that's worth pointing out. We have Kim, who has a challenger moment. And then finally, we have Angela Hill, who has a 12K contender moment, and Mackenzie Dern, who has a fandom moment minted to almost 1700 I think it's like 1693 So this card is super similar to the current card, we're looking at uh, for the current challenge in terms of UFC strike where, you know, we've got a handful of challengers, a handful of contenders, and it kind of gives UFC strike a decent amount of flexibility uh, to create a, a solid challenge. And I think the blueprint for this one, we can, like I said, look at the, the current challenge and kind of realize that it probably will mirror that to some degree where you're going to probably need a all the challengers. You're going to need a Johnny Walker, a Ian Gary, and a Kim. Now, with that being said, the Kim challenger and the Johnny Walker challenger have a pretty significantly higher mint count than Ian Gary. So I do think there's a possibility that they use that Dern fandom moment kind of as that third uh, or that fourth challenger moment, and they either require you to own three of the four or Ian Gary counts as like two in this weird sort of way. So you could either have Walker, Dern and Kim, or if you own Gary, you only need to own one of the others. Now that could be me making things a little too convoluted here. Uh, but just in terms of circulation, if Gary was kind of required, I think he would instantly become a pretty severe bottleneck. Uh, and like I said, he's kind of sitting in that gray area where he has a lower mint count for a challenger because it's 600 is significantly less than 1500, but it's high enough where it could be required for a collection challenge as opposed to it being a straight up cheat code like Arnold Allen, because the pump on that Arnold Allen 
would be crazy if it was required for this current challenge. Now, with that being said, I forgot to, I think I forgot to point out Moreno has a series zero moment here. Uh, so there could be something where you have to burn a Moreno as well. So it could be this hybrid challenge where once again, if we look at the, the current one, you have to collect three of the four uh, challenger slash fandom moments, and then you'd have to burn a Moreno or one of the other several Series Zero moments they lay out. So I think this challenge would be a great one to start preparing for. Uh, if you don't have a Gary, I feel like scooping one up now before people start looking ahead and trying to grab one themselves, I think that's a really good play because he has the most potential to pump. But I also think it's worth noting that historically in UFC Strike, uh, Johnny Walker has pumped like crazy uh, when he's been required in challenges for some reason. So making sure you have a Johnny Walker uh, would be pretty, pretty crucial as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Please feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this current challenge, this upcoming card, some of the uh, future cards that are coming up and some of the challenge speculation that you might have. And while you're leaving that comment, also make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Something pretty easy that you can do that really helps me out a lot and continues to help me grow this channel. And with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. And I'll see you next time as we talk about more UFC Strike. Please clap. Mm -hmm.